Engaging Spectre 1. Your mission objectives are so- Okay. It's not even gonna listen to this guy. There's it said oh, I was supposed to do that. Whoops. My bad. Alright. It's okay, it's okay, we got this. I, I thought I was supposed to wait for him, to be honest. Oh, that's Chopper Prime. Alright. Cool, we get to do assassination missions. Confirmed kill. Evac immediate area. Second target unconfirmed. Move to nav point beta and await confirmation. Uh, where's nav point beta? Oh, it's that way. Uh, well, kind of this way. You gotta kind of go a little bit in between. I don't think these Nightwings are particularly happy with my performance here. Neither am I, because I failed the first fucking mission of this. Oh, it's going to here. I mean, I ain't doing, like, assassination shit. I mean, we have another fucking plane to take down. Pretty sure these guys are not happy with me, though. We just gotta go in between the buildings, it's fine. Oh, of course, there's invisible walls here. We can just take these assholes out. I can't really see them though. Yeah, let's let's now go to beta again. Target destroyed. Is this our escape route or what? I guess I guess we just get out of here. So I wonder who I'm pissing off with this, but I wanted money, so fuck you. Commonality police, dude. The police get next. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. Alright. It's another Nightwind or something, but whatever. Just. I will just keep leaving. Hopefully, they're not gonna power up a bunch of mechs and fuck me. Who's that guy? Target confirmed. Designated Limo Prime. Destroy target. Limo Prime. Oh, I actually can't zoom in when I have light amp. Yeah, there we go. But I want light amp. As well as kind of interesting things about night out missions. Confirmed elimination. Break contact and make best speed to nav point gamma. Alright, let's get the fuck out. So, every time- I'm not t oh shit! I just took a fuck ton of damage. I really don't like these invisible walls. They're fucking- they hate my dick. I wonder why that is. It, it couldn't possibly because I'm doing an assassination missions for someone sketchy. Yeah, honestly, I think this would have been better if I brought like a really fast mech, not like the slow lumbering piece of shit. Because I'm actually having a little bit of trouble evading all these guys. Maybe I should have done the protection- if I lose this, I'm gonna just do the protection mission. Fuck it. Because this, this seems like a lot of work. Alright, we made it to Gamma. Hold position. Mech Prime? No fucking way- well, we got Thunderbolts, but we're, we're fucking dying though, is the Arc problem. Acquired. Designated Mech Prime. Eliminate target. Crow, this is Spectre, engaging full enemy lance. This is way beyond contract parameters. Silence, you simpleton oaf. You are hired for your alleged personal skill. I'm authorizing double pay for hazardous oversight. Continue mission. Double pay? I'm on it. You only have to destroy Mech Prime. Morning. After that, break contact and exit mission area. Thunderbolts kind of take a while to, uh, to adjust. I may not be able to do this, guys. I think I'm dead. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. I think I almost have him though. We may actually be able to do it. 
Mech Prime destroyed. Breaking enemy contact. Get the fuck out. Is nope. down. Damn it. Uploading position data. All nearby units assist. Rescue one. Initiate recovery. Dude, if I didn't take that fucking PPC hit at the like in at, I think it was at Charlie or something. I don't know what fucking thing it was. If I didn't take that PPC hit, I, I wouldn't have had a problem. It looks like also the time didn't advance and my balance didn't change, actually. So I can do it as many times as I want to. I, I think I'll just do it again. Fuck the it. Capellans have made a run. Warning. Mech Prime destroyed. Breaking enemy contact. Destroyed. Right. I think the problem last time was that I, I left some of the nightshades alive. They were following me the entire fucking time. And one of the first two zeals I saw got like the hit of his life on my fucking CT. So this time it was a lot easier anyway, so who gives a fuck? Confirm target eliminated. Your fee is being released from escrow along with hazard bonus. Farewell, mercenary. So it actually, it, it really wasn't bad. Well, I can safely say that I'm glad that's over with. The stick commonality is falling apart and there's no more business for mercenaries here. The Fedcom civil war is heating up elsewhere. Pretty soon we'll have to align with Steiner or Davion to keep working. So apparently, so the ability is if I'm a good guy and infamy is if I'm a bad guy. So it's a measure of how high my moral standing has been. If you do the right thing, your nobility will go up. Uh, employers consider the ability before offering a job. So I may, I may be sacrificing jobs. However, I will get more dirty jobs for more money. So fuck you. That's the best. All right, um, and yes, time has progressed by a week. Do we do anything else on this planet? Yeah, we're, we are done. We are done on this planet. Nothing here, uh, outreach has nothing. So let's literally go here or we do some more Solaris. And I think we're gonna do some more Solaris. That sounds pretty good. Let's head back. I want Infamy, Infamy is the best. I don't know what it truly does in the end, but whatever. Um, so I guess next time I'll uh, make some interesting mech combos. Um, let's see actually what we have in the mech lab. Uh, anything? Well, not mech lab, but free market. Let's see if anything's good here. Uh, I think we still got. We didn't get anything. Oh shit! Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Linked capacitors PPC. The fuck is this? A light PPC with an added storage capacitor that increases damage at the expense of increased heat. And adding recharge unit offsets the increase in recycle time normally created by use of a capacitor. Fucking hell. Dude, we get new shit all the time. And we solved the x pulse I'm not sure if some of this is like lost tech or whatever. Like these continuous beam things look pretty cool too. I just want to try them, you know. Plasma cannon? Creates a huge amount of heat on the target. Uh, that's fucking flamers. Fuck flamers. Assault laser sucks. Fuck that. Uh, we got LRM 10 with Artemis. Heavy rockets. Uh, some more medium range missiles. I think we want some sea strike missiles though. I mean, we got the thunderbolts here. These are not with the Artemis though. They, they, you know, I don't think I particularly need the Artemis, but whatever. We gotta take these guys though. I'm just showing you some of the shit that we have. Clan rotary AC cannons. I definitely gotta take some of these guys. Clan LB10X AC5. Holy shit, guys. I, I took some mini. Smoke AGL. Smoke to area, but does little damage. I think it's a multiplayer thing. Oh, these are the long toms, I think. Maybe we are gonna get the like the bombast laser, which I could never fucking work before. Uh, Hyper AC 20? Holy fuck. Bring, let's buy one of those. Actually, maybe I shouldn't buy one of those. That's really expensive. Shit. Well, whatever. I, I just I just sold one of these rotary AC cannons. I think I sold the wrong kind though. Oh, no, no, it's fine. I'm, just, I'm, I'm looking at this shit because this shit's amazing, dude. This looks so much fun. Cl oh, we got clan gosses. I definitely want one of those. And there we go, long time artillery. A long time artillery sucks though. So we are, we are not touching that. Anyways, I think we're good. Uh, so let's, I guess, oh actually let's check out the mechs though first. Uh, and also personnel I think hasn't really changed, no. Um, so in terms of mechs, our assault mechs is still the Muller, our heavy mechs is still Lokai, Madcat, Thanatos, Thor, Warhammer, Rifleman, Marauder, Archer. Eh, 
Is there like a support mix? We're also gonna get a nice, a black. Actually, let's have a, let's check out some of these. These are pretty neat. Cause we got we have a bushwhacker for medium. We're gonna do some mediums, I think, real soon. Um, I'm just trying to think of a good one to do. Trebuchet, interesting. We got one of those. Rabid Coyote, Privateer. Unable to jump and with below average electronics. Fen Fenris? Fuck. I don't even know what half these are. Blackjack 2? I, I think I have to... <laughs> the Crab? This is this one from uh, MechWarrior uh, 2 Mercs, I think. And that thing was, like, retarded as hell. Alright, sorry for the abrupt cunt there. I was actually going to end the episode there, but then it was, like, fucking 40 minutes, so I had to reorganize stuff. I, I lose track of time when I play this game, apparently. Uh, we're doing Jungle Medium. Uh, just Steiner Butt. I, the thing you missed me saying was I am fucking got new mechs now. Whoops. I was gonna buy some new mechs. I didn't show you what I was doing because it would take too fucking long because I was looking it up on Google what the, these fucking things were even. Um, so I bought a Black Hawk, Jump Jets, LAMS, a shit ton of medium lasers. That should be fun as a medium mech. Uh, Bushwhacker LBX has been upgraded with, uh, some sea strike missiles, two medium ER lasers. I'm not gonna use as much X pulses, I guess, anymore. Uh, well, I'll, I'll use it occasionally, but whatever. And then I had to get the crab. Like, come the fuck on! I had to get the crab. It looks so fucking stupid. But I actually managed to put these link capacitor PPCs in there, and just a bunch of medium lasers in the middle, just because I, I, I don't know how they're gonna do. I really don't. So uh, to start it off, I guess I'll start with the crab laser, fucking thing. Because that sounds about fun. Uh, let's use the crab laser PPC. I really want to try those link PPCs. They might, they're either going to be really good or really terrible. And I guess I'll find out, won't I? Hello, Solaris fans. It's Duncan Fisher broadcasting live from the jungle. It has been a crazy time getting in. The security was so tight that some people are still trickling in. Tonight's match is packed with rookies, which means it's going to be one hell of a fight. These guys are battling for position, and a couple of them are fighting to stay on the medium circuit. It's going to be a no-holds-barred fight tonight. The big crowd tonight is a good thing, too, because the medium season has been off to a slow start so far. The opening games have been pretty predictable, and last week there was a scandal when Bobby Killer Fields was accused of throwing a game. But the fans haven't lost their faith, and tonight's game looks like it's going to be a good one. Now we're ready for action. So, these ones fire really fucking fast. Like, super fucking fast. Who the hell's Marcus? I probably shouldn't kill him because I think it's gonna fucking tell me who he is. I think I'm already kicking his- oh, okay, that bitch ass is going down. I hear one of the combatants down there is Ricardo Vecchi's cousin. He's been training with him quite a bit, which is pretty unusual. When the reactor goes, that's usually a sign that you've taken too much damage. Oh, wait, no, these are just random people. This is Lee Song. Hey, Lee Song is back. Looks like a pretty good match out there today. A lot of folks prefer medium to light matches because there is more action. You have more power to bear on your enemy and better odds of hitting them. You still get some speed, but some of those medium mechs can be configured to be heavy hitters. Anyways, um, yeah, Lee Song kicked kiss my ass. Okay, these these are really fast firing PPCs actually. Welcome to Solaris. Now let me show you the sky. That's two for Spectre and two ejected pilots who will be watching from the sidelines. Some fancy piloting, good aim, and three kills for Spectre. Now that is one Merc I'd let watch my back any day. All right, so the number one fly I can see of the crab mech is it's the giant walking center torso. Um, there's a key I can use to check my fucking. Um, oh, there's my CT. Alright. Uh, we are no longer engaging people directly. We are gonna fucking So the talk is all about last week's medium match. Bobby Fields had been cleaning house in the medium circuit. He made the final two in the last factory match. Then a badly mauled Merrick rookie simply tore him apart. Fields barely even fired back. All the media is saying that the killer took a dive. I'm not so sure. He claims that he... <laughs> well, Ricardo's cousin is history now. It's no secret that Vecchia... He's on a roll. That's four for Spectre. 
Warning. Damage critical. Weapon destroyed. Target destroyed. I just lost a medium laser. It's fine. Oh, shit. No, please. I am... I am baby mech. Do not destroy me. Alright. I'm not gonna bring this guy out anymore. Even though I kind of like the weapon, though. That's it. The Merc Phenom strikes again. That was pretty good. Man, that's medium mech action for you. We have our winner today, Merc turned Solaris Jock Spectre. He's making a name for himself, and he rode right over the competition today. Some pilots on the circuit complain that the jungle is a hard arena to get used to. Well, apparently there's one Merc who'll disagree. Live from the jungle, it's Duncan Fisher signing off. Okay, I can tell you without a fact, I'm going to remove some of those lasers. Yeah, it's damaged. I'm going to have to repair it anyways. Uh, where is the crab? Where is the crab? I actually like those weapons. Those are actually really nice weapons. I, I even lost one of the other things. I don't think we need the medium lasers. If anything, actually, I think I'll put small lasers on there. Is there is there such thing as ER small lasers is the question, or something similar to that? I mean, there's small lasers and... Oh, there you go. ER small. I would take the ER smalls, because these are 50 tons. I mean, okay, you're asking why would I bring something so shitty? And the answer is because they're light. I'd rather have more heat sinks and, like, something just to finish guys off, you know? Just like that. That thing is, as I said, a giant walking center torso, so we're not going to deal with that anymore. We're not advancing time, because we have we have spares. Oh, look, we can do jungle heavy now. All right, well, let's do... Uh, Let's do the bushwhacker. Uh, actually, no, no, let's do Blackhawk fucking lasers. That sounds pretty good. We have some medium mech action tonight. This is Duncan Fisher live from Solaris. The pilots are on the field and they look in good form. There is some speculation that a couple of the pilots might advance into the heavier circuits this season. They definitely have their game faces on and are ready to duke it out. It's Solaris time. Apparently my mech looks like a mad cat. All right, so I have um, the mother of all Enemy medium detected. lasers. Enemy detected. Radar off. Passive sensors engaged. Do that. Because I'm a closer range mech and I need sensors. But I think I have to be within 300 meters. I'm definitely a brawling mech. Oh look, it's Gus and Chimera. Kill Gus. Fuck Gus. Oh shit, no, please, why, Chimera? The medium matches are some of my favorites, and I'm not saying that just because it was the weight class I made a name for myself in. Medium mechs require all the piloting skills of light mechs, plus you have to have better gunnery skills. In light mechs, a lot of the game boils down to chance. You're moving so fast that only the good pilots can regularly nail- Whoa, that one is definitely down. It's actually pretty nice. It's like it's a really high damage alpha and I not actually using a lot of heat. I like I saw this thing and it's like a lot of individual laser slots this one. Like I saw it, it's like, oh you can make a lot of interesting bucklings with this. This one's like this one's kinda weird. I mean it had jump jets, I had to do something with jump jets and then I, I saw the opportunity to just make a laser boat. Oh oops, I, I completely missed that. That's the second one for Spectre today. The medium matches are picking up some steam from a slow start. It was a real upset when a few of the key medium players announced they were only going to be competing in the heavier circuits. Alice Newkirk and Miria Stewart were especially a blow to diehard medium fans. Both were crowd favorites, and they are trying to move up. I personally think Miria is rushing things a bit. He has talent to be sure, but he could do with another season playing in the medium circuit. And Alice, well, no surprise there. She was last year's medium circuit champion. Ah, oh, fucking missed. Enemy detected. Because I get money when I kill them, too. Uh, is there any reason I'm not? Target destroyed. Alright, see who's weaker. Alright, you shut up, you die first. I mean, I'm like almost basically hell. <laughs> so, let's just fucking do this, guys. I'm kind of sad there's no concept of XL engines in this game, but whatever. He nailed another. Spectre is up to four this match. 
This is actually a really, really tight mech, honestly. This guy has an LB-10X there. Okay, so I like this one better than I like the crab, but the, the PPCs were actually super nice for that, though. Alright, this guy, I don't know, he didn't lose anything yet. He's almost dead, though. We have our winner! Oh, it didn't give me a, it didn't sign me off. Just kind of, either that or I was pressing jump jets and it didn't like that. Whatever. You didn't go like, Spectre wins again, something like that. All right, so it's the uh, 18th of June right now. Let's go back to orbital view. Uh, and we'll do the Bushwhacker LBX. And more, more, more Steiner Duxic. It's your favorite time, McFans, Solaris time. This is Duncan Fisher broadcasting live. The medium season is really coming along. There has been a lot of tough scrapes in the last couple of weeks, and the pilots look eager to strut their stuff. The pilots are signaling the all clear. It's game time. I was about to say I'm doing more science big sucking. It's Solaris time. Passive sensors engaged. All right, let's see what we got. We got ER me medium lasers and an LB-10X. Someone's shooting at me from the other side. Let's try it. What the fuck? Let's say you and I play nice. Friends until we take the rest of these jokers out? I've keyed you in as a friendly on my IFF. The guy who's shooting at me wants to be my friend. What is he? So this is an Uzeal. He's got two PPCs. This randomly happens. Two people ally. Well, mainly as uh, the player. I don't know if the, anyone else ever does it. Are these? Oh, these are streaks I got. All right. There's a lot of debate on which mech dominates the medium mech circuit. My money's always on the Uzeal. Sure, you can put another five tons of armor and weapons on other chassis, but I just like the feel of an Uzio. It has good armor, weapons, and decent moves. Some lucky pilots who have access to clan tech go with a shadow cat. I can see their point. Chalk up another kill. So, this guy's just gonna be my friend until the very end of this one here. A good shot and a dead mech. Two for Spectre. I mean, they, they sometimes do this to get, gain themselves an edge when you get a reputation. It happens more and more frequently later on. And it's actually quite nice, so... Enemy detected. I mean, he can at least tank some damage for me and stuff like that. This shit ain't against the rules. Actually, I, I think I'm too far away for this stuff. This is a very close range bushwhacker. It's not- Target destroyed. Oops, Man, Spectre has got some good eyes. He certainly keeps nailing his shots tonight. Three down, all because they've been in his crosshairs, which is a very dangerous place to be. I need to kill this guy. That's why I take out this guy, because he's got like... The heat efficiency in this mech is amazing. He did it again! Another four down and Spectre to blame. Some dynamite Solaris action for you today. Only two left, and soon we'll know who today's winner is. Nice gaming with you. Only us left. Good luck, kid. Yeah, so basically now he tries to kill me. Because there's only two people left, so there's only, there can only be one, guys. But he's a retard, so we win. Kapow! Spectre wins again. I didn't even take any damage, holy fuck. And the winner is Spectre. Again and again, he winds up winning. I haven't seen a rookie performance like this in years. Every Solaris fan should catch his next game, because I'm sure we'll see some more fireworks. This is Duncan Fisher, signing off. Alright. Well, there you go again. Steiner likes me even more, and, uh... Good shit going down. I'm pretty sure the, the time is progressing. I mean... We still have another medium circuit to go. I don't know if I can finish it in this episode. I'd kind of like to. What, what star systems do we have? We got this guy right here. Next. Long range recon. Alignment Davian. Uh, and there's there's also a Steiner mission there. All right. We're gonna we're gonna finish it off with this episode. Uh, I'll do it right now. Uh, do we have our 
the crab is back. Let's use the black hawk again. I actually like that one. This is Duncan Fisher reporting live from Solaris. We have a good match in store for you. The pilots out there are signaling they are ready, so we'll jump right into the fight. It is Solaris time, ladies and gentlemen. Enemy detected. I can't really turn myself when I'm in the air. Want a temporary alliance? I won't shoot till we're the last mech standing. Ah, oh, and I got another ally. I want these two assholes to fight. It's better just to let them fight it out. Honestly, I think my bushwhacker was much more powerful than this. The PPC guy, especially the crab. Holy fuck, that crab is great. It's never what you expect. That's part of the magic. One day a favorite will win, and another it'll be an upset. I don't know which way it's going to go this time. Spectre seems to be doing pretty well, though. I don't even know who was piloting that one, but he sure put up one heck of a fight. You can bet he'll get some camera time after this one. Of course, you get even more camera time if you win. Target destroyed. Oh, the Shadow Cat didn't even fucking take damage yet. So, you can see on my radar, the, the, the blue guy is, uh, he's on the other side of the map somewhere, so... Gotta fucking take this guy up. Easiest Solaris of my life. Oh, I actually hit his cockpit there. I actually, I, I can't fucking hit cockpits for shit in this game. I don't actually know how. Target destroyed. Alright. Medium mechs have a healthy blend of firepower and speed. You don't spend a minute waiting for two guys to find each other here. The action is fast, and pilots who think quick on their feet can really clean house in this circuit. And for the audience, it's a treat too. If you don't like the action, then wait a minute and you'll have a whole different game. It's just that fast paced. So how, how, how's this guy been doing? Okay, he's gonna be really easy to take out. I mean, I could just shoot at him now. I'm pretty sure he'll go like, Asshole, you fucking... You fucking shot me. Detected. This kid is unbelievable. That's four for Spectre today. Oh, never mind. There's more here. Honestly, the way to win Slayers is just have a nice alpha and that's it. I mean, especially in the jungle, there's always, like, water around, so... I mean, jet, jump jets, honestly, are not a big deal in this place. I mean... It's like, look at the terrain here, there's like almost nothing. I mean, but the thing is, I am playing jungle right now. There is still factory, and then I think it's like arena or something. And it's mostly a difference in, um, I think they are, call, oh, that's it, Coliseum. Coliseum has less cover. Factory still has cover. Factory is super hot. Uh, Coliseum has no fucking cover, though. Alright, let me kill this guy. Target yeah, destroyed. Money. Love money. Don't you fucking turn your torso at me. Target right, nice working with you, but we're the only ones left. Yeah, still not taking any damage. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. It's just Slurs isn't particularly hard, it's just very long. Boom! That's it. It's game over and Spectre is the last pilot standing. What a performance. We're going to take a short break and go right to the after hours show. So stick around, Solaris fan, and we'll interview some of the pilots from the match. I think we're done with Jungle Medium now. Yep, Jungle Medium is done. So uh, next time I'm going to actually I'll do this right now. So, you know, I'm going fucking here. Right, let's, let's just jump there. Let's do some more actual like Steiner missions and shit. And we'll come back and do the rest of some more Solaris. If that sounds pretty good to all of you. It should be pretty good. Anyways, take care everyone. Bye.